Hi there, my name is Albert Chavez here. I'm from Sacramento, California. I'm 49 years old. And uh, my story is a little unique. Um, I would be called your average Joe. I, um, probably about two years ago, 18 months ago, I made a decision to change my body, to redirect my life. And part of that was hiring a trainer. So I hired a coach, uh, Jason Salinas from Sacramento. And um, one of the first interviews we had when we talked is, I told him what, I'm, what I wanted to look like. I wanted, I was 238 pounds, body weight, body fat was 27%. And I was drinking a lot, I was, eat, I was just unhealthy. And so I basically told him I want to look like you. And he's shredded, he's a trainer. And one of the first things that he wanted me to do and said was, we need to check your blood work and kind of see how you are with your testosterone level and just kind of where you're at, your, 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 how your blood is. That way when we put together a program for you, it's not just about eating right and exercising, it's really about what your body's doing internally. And so that's how I got introduced to Titan. Um, and it was pretty intimidating, honestly, because all of a sudden I'm having to put stuff in my body that I didn't really know what it was. And that with education, uh, learning about what BCAAs and are, and, and just the different types of good, healthy um, uh, medicines that are out there, um, it, it took me a while to really get confident. But after the first couple of weeks, after working out with Jason, and then a month goes by, uh, I felt a whole lot better. I had a whole lot of energy. Uh, the things that, I, that I'm taking with Titan are the HCG, the CYP, and then the uh, Titan Complete. And, you know, I've had follow-ups, you know, the six-month follow-ups and, and, and the blood work. And what has been really fascinating for me is each time that I've gone back to the doctor and had the consultation with Titan, um, the, the feedback was, Albert, you're doing great for being 49 years old. Your, your blood levels look great. Your testosterone levels are exactly what you need to be as a man for your age. And so I can tell you, uh, bar none, it has to do with uh, what Titans, um, not only their staff, but their expertise, but also what they're providing for me, for my body. And so I can't say enough about it. The teamwork, the, the, the customer service they have, I just love getting follow-up texts from them. You know, it's probably every 60 days, just like, hey, how are you doing? How are you feeling? You know, again, six months go by, hey, your blood work needs to be done. And so, and then when you talk on the phone with them, everybody's super nice. And what I especially like, actually with technology, is the Zoom calls. What they're gonna do is when they, when they set up the blood work with you and you get them done, they actually go with you on a call. It's like 10 to 15 minutes. And for me, um, because of not only my age, but just technology, I, I just felt like cared for. And so for me, I wanna, I wanna see the doctor, I wanna hear the doctor, I wanna understand more. And so a phone call, isn't good enough for me. A personal uh, consultation is what I need as a man. So anyway, I can't say more about Titan. They've been super helpful for me and I just love working with them. And uh, yeah, please reach out to them and, and they're amazing. Folks, Cass here, nurse practitioner with Titan Medical Center here with Chenille, one of the other nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. Today we wanted to talk about healing peptides, how beneficial they are and what are the different ones we have. So we have two types of healing peptides here at Titan Medical Center. We have BPC-157 as well as TB-500. The way these peptides work is they boost collagen factors to help with repairing fibrous tissues like your tendons, ligaments, and muscle fibers. They're also going to downregulate cytokines and actin sequestrants, which are what play a role in the inflammatory process in the body. So it's going to help with reducing the inflammation in that way. It's also going to work by promoting angiogenesis, which is the growth of new blood vessels. So that's going to really help with optimizing the blood flow and nutrient supply to the tissues to promote healing as well. So Cass, can you tell us a little bit about how these are administered? Sure, most importantly, in getting them into the system, a few different ways. 
One is injecting with a small insulin sized needle, so tiny injection site can be done either to the site of the area, specifically more with the BPC-157, but then you can also use the insulin needle to inject the TB500 systemically to an area, you know, fatty tissue, the belly, back of the arm or inner thigh. So in addition, best part, BPC-157 does come in a rapid dissolvable tab, so it can get into the system and it has a lot of gastrointestinal uh, benefits that can help with reducing inflammation as well. So. There you have it guys, BPC-157 and TB-500. If you're interested, just give us a call, 727-389-3220. See you then. Take care folks. At Titan Medical Center, we always make sure to emphasize the significance of maintaining a healthy lifestyle while pursuing fitness goals. Health is a journey that should be approached with care and consideration for your overall well-being. You're not just a number at Titan Medical, you are Titan Family. Before embarking on a health and fitness journey, it's essential to undergo an initial medical assessment. This helps create a personalized plan that addresses any underlying health concerns. Blood testing helps us see what's really going on inside your body. Sometimes, despite the hard work and effort we put in to stay healthy, our bodies have internal issues that we don't know about or can't see. Our team of U.S. licensed medical providers will help you develop a customized therapy program that is aligned with your fitness goals. We make sure to establish a good communication connection with each patient. Our team will collaborate to understand your goals, medical history, and any specific considerations that need to be taken into account. This ensures a safe and effective health plan that will help you maximize your results. We want everyone to feel tight and strong. This means living your life at its optimal levels where you can look, feel, and perform at your very best. It's never too late to get started or to get back on track. We service nationwide, and yes, telemedicine is available. Remember, prioritizing your health alongside your fitness goals is essential. By partnering with a medical clinic, you can enjoy a safe, effective, and well-monitored fitness journey. For more information or to speak with someone on getting started as a Titan Medical Center patient, you can call or text 727-389-3220 or visit us on the web at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and today I wanna to do a Titan myth busting segment just for you guys. So let's talk about one of these subjects. This one I get quite a few comments about and questions about. John, running or cardiovascular activity is gonna give me more muscle definition and tone and increase muscle size. So let's break this down because there's a little bit of truth in that, but there's a lot of false statement in that too as well. So let's talk about it. So when we do cardiovascular exercise, let's talk about long distance runners, sprinters, marathon, whatever you want to say. When we talk about those people, let's get an image in our mind of what those people really look like we've seen on TV. What do they look like? Do they look really big and, and jacked and running down the, the, you know, the track or the sidewalk or whatever they're running on the street? Uh, no, you're probably not going to see that. They're going to be usually, if they're professional, really lean and, and, and you know, they'll be cut but they'll be really small as far as body mass, right? You're not gonna see like Big Drew running marathons professionally and doing well, okay? That just is what it is. It's because when we do cardiovascular exercise, we are actually, you know, burning a lot of calories, right? We're slimming down and that's why the, the runners look really, really thin. Now, some of those runners nowadays are having really thick or stronger legs and that's because that's what's giving them all the power to run, right? But when we talk about building muscle, we have to talk about lifting weights because lifting weights is what's going to break down the muscle and actually help you repair and regather and rejuvenate and rebuild those muscles to be bigger and stronger. That's why we do weight training, okay? So it's better to do weight training with cardiovascular exercise. Cardiovascular exercise is great. Great for the heart, right? It's great for the body as far as leaning down or slimming up. You know, if you want to slim up, you want to lose weight, you definitely should add cardiovascular exercise in your routine. Even if you don't want to lose weight, just for cardiovascular health, you want to add cardiovascular activity into your daily regimens or weekly regimens, whatever it is. At that point, you're doing what's best for your body and staying healthy, okay? But it's not going to help you grow bigger muscles, right? So if you're thinking about getting your arms bigger, 
When you run, that's not going to get your arms bigger. Now, some of the truth and myth to this. So, doing cardiovascular exercise is going to give you more chiseled muscles. So, it's really not chiseling the muscles, but what it is doing is, is leaning you out. If you have a smaller body fat percentage, those muscles and definition are going to stand out a lot more. So if that's what you're looking for, then cardiovascular exercise is a great activity for you. If you want to gain lean muscle mass, you definitely want to add in weight training and not just cardiovascular activity, okay? I see a lot of girls out there, I just want to be toned and stuff like that. Well, cardiovascular activity will get some of the weight off and body fat off, and you might look more toned. But if you really want to look more toned, you'll add some weights in there and at that point you'll get all the benefits of getting lean body mass and being lean at the exact same time. So I hope you guys have listened and I hope you guys are agreeing with me that cardiovascular exercise is not going to get you more jacked, but it's definitely going to get you more lean. So you're not going to get a whole bunch of muscle, but you will get some more definition out of it. Appreciate you guys. Just another myth-busting fact from Titan Medical Center to you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'll be bringing you more myth-busting facts from Titan Medical Center real soon. Thank you. bedroom enhancement, libido enhancement. There's just so many options out there. And here at Titan Medical Center, we have some powerful combinations of these things. So I just want to give you guys a breakdown of some of our different therapies we offer for male and female libido enhancement and the ingredients that are in them so you guys understand how they work with your body, okay? So let's talk about the different ingredients. The first one, sildenafil, which is generic for Viagra. This works on the vascular system, pushing the blood flow down to the extremities. Tadalafil, which is the generic for Cialis. It works the exact same way on the vascular system. Then you have PT-141, which is awesome because it works on the nervous system for libido enhancement. We also have oxytocin. Oxytocin is a bonding hormone, so it's gonna bring you guys closer together. The next one, arginine. So arginine is not really a libido enhancer per se, but it's gonna increase blood flow, right? A precursor to nitric oxide, and blood flow is great for males and females. So let's talk about some of the different therapies we offer with these ingredients. The first one, Superman and Wonder Woman's. So these can be made with sildenafil or tadalafil, just at different dosages for males and females. If you're on hormone replacement therapy already, we can also add micronized testosterone to these. And that will increase the effect for you to be able to go longer, okay? With sildenafil or tadalafil, you'll have great blood flow on the vascular system, increasing libido. But for that extra energy in the second or third round, that's where the micronized testosterone comes into play, okay? The next one, and this is one of my favorites, is Cupid's Candy. Cupid's Candy combines three main ingredients. It increases oxytocin, it includes tadalafil, it also includes PT-141. So PT-141, like we talked about before, increases libido by the nervous system. Tadalafil increases libido by the vascular system increasing blood flow down the extremities. And oxytocin is that bonding hormone bringing you guys closer together. So when you combine these three awesome different ingredients, you guys are getting the ultimate libido enhancement. You're getting the vascular system, you're getting the nervous system, and you guys are getting that bonding hormone. What could be better than that, right? Our next one, our Ironman therapy. This is for maximum blood flow and maximum performance for you guys. This has sildenafil and has arginine. So we know that sildenafil already works on the vascular system and increasing blood flow with arginine is just gonna make it that much better, okay? For maximum performance for you guys out there. So these libido enhancers are great for males and females and will definitely help you guys step up your game in the bedroom. 
And who doesn't like to be the best, okay? You might not need these, right? You might not say, I might not, I don't need libido enhancement. I'm just, I'm that good, okay? But who doesn't want to step up their game for their partner? It might be a special day like an anniversary or a Valentine's Day, or it might be a new partner. You just want to impress them. You know what they say about first impressions? They're lasting impressions. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful little wife over here are bringing you guys awesome tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully entice, improve, and ignite your relationship to whole new levels that maybe you haven't been at for a while or you've never even seen before. And listen, if you're single at this point in time, don't worry. You guys can use some of this great information for your future relationship to hopefully set you guys up for success mm -hmm. all the way through and through. At least on your side, you'll be doing your part. And hopefully your partner will be doing the exact same thing and reciprocating back to you. Hopefully. So this week we have a great topic for you guys. And I think every relationship goes to this topic. And Sharice brought this topic to my attention. I think it was a good one to talk about. Okay. So it is pressure situations for couples how you deal with them makes the difference in everything, right. right? And pressure situations come about in relationships all the time. Every single day you might be dealing with something that's has low pressure or high pressure, right? Yeah. But the high pressure and dealing with those things really does determine how the relationship's going to go. So, you know, for us, we were talking about, you know, like, a, a big simple one to go off of is money right that's a that's just not a simple one right i mean because think about it if you guys don't have money which is keeping you comfortable right and even if you do have money it could, it could be a total reversal too but when you don't have money you're going to be stressed out right because you're trying to figure out how you're going to make the light bill how are you going to pay how are you going to put food on the table mm -hmm. how are you going to do this how are you going to do that and when you get in situations like that you tend to take it out on your partner. So instead of you guys working together as a team to accomplish what the problem is and to surpass it, you guys end up utilizing your, you know, anger and all these other things that are going on and you take it out on each other. Yeah. And that doesn't make it any better. Yeah. It actually makes it 10 times worse. Absolutely. And when I met John, I told them, you know, I, I told him when I met him, I said, listen, I was like, one of the things that my parents, sorry, mom, one of the things that my parents would always argue about in every single argument that they ever had was always about money. Right. And it was blowout arguments. It wasn't like, oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It was like things throwing out of the house, then like all the fun things you hear that happened back in the 90s, right? Yeah. That anyway, <laughs> the stuff you were able to get away with in the 80s and 90s that you can't do now. Right. But anyways, things thrown, all that fun stuff, and you know, it was big, big fights. So I told John, like, I, that is one thing I don't ever want to fight about. Yeah. I don't ever want to fight about money. Like, if we don't have money, we figure it out. I don't want to fight about it, though. I don't want to argue about where it's going, yeah. who's getting it. I will always want to be straight up about it. Like, if he's gonna, you know, in relationships, a big one too, is you know somebody giving money to somebody else without telling your significant other. Right. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. It is a big deal, yeah. right? Because then you'll find out like, oh wait a minute, and this is popular. So you gave your brother, you know, five thousand dollars, like, and now we're short on our bills. Like, do, why'd you do that? Oh well, he needed this for that, and he they're they're really hurting. Well, you didn't talk about it with me, right. and it becomes a problem. Right. So, I mean, this is something big. I mean, it's a big issue that I think a lot of couples either have gone through, will go through, or will go through, right? Unless you are aware of it yeah. and you just don't allow it to happen. Like unchecked spending, right. right? So, I mean, it couldn't just be you're giving somebody money that you might not have or it's going to take you guys a lot to recuperate from. Or it could be spending from shopping, right? Spending money you ain't got. You're making stupid um, you know, mistakes as far as with your money, like whether you're buying drinks for everybody that's out or you're buying dinner for everybody that's out um you're doing things that aren't in your budget you know and that could cause a big issue and rift at home big time um especially if your partner's not on board even if they are on board you know if they're agreeing to it and they know it's wrong ultimately it's not going to affect you guys right that single point but later on down the line where all the bills are due and then you guys are fighting. Well, you do want to do this. You did this. Uh, well, why did you do this? And why did you spend on this? Well, I told you not to do this. These are going to create unwanted issues with your relationship. And some of these things could be breaking. Financial um, situations with couples break 
They do. It's like one of the. It's one of the most. Um, it's one of the most basic things that break up relationships. My parents Excuse got me. divorced over that. Yeah, financial situations with relationships never hardly work unless both partners get on board about what they want to do. And that's how you guys should yep. be. You guys should be on the same page thinking about things, right? Communication. And it doesn't mean that you can't spend things like you know, shopping or whatever it is, but you have to set budgets aside for that. And then you have like your own little money, like, oh, listen, I can spend $100 on this. Right. Um, and I can, I can do this. And this is not going to affect our budget or our plans or our goals. And as you're a couple and you're developing as a couple and you're, you're growing together, uh, whether you're getting married or you're having kids or whatever it is, you want to start leveling up, right? And that means, you know, if you're renting an apartment right now, you want to try to get a home, right? And at that point, you're going to need some down payment money, right? You're going to have to bring that credit score up. You guys are going to have to be good together. So at that point, you guys are working towards that goal. So set the goal. Because at that point, if you don't set the goals together, you guys aren't going to be on the same page and you guys aren't going to be working together. And when you guys set these goals together, keep each other accountable of what that goal is. Remind yourselves every single day, like, this is where we want to go and this is what we want to be. Mm -hmm. This will make you better ultimately as a couple and all the way around, financially wise too as mm -hmm. well. 100%. Um, high pressure situations though, this could be something at work too, right? You have a high pressure situation at work where you have to meet this deadline, you have to come through with this, and this could be affecting your home, right? Um, we got... You know, we got a, a you know a guest speaker yesterday with Tim Grover coming here. And, yeah, that's cool. On on virtual and, and talking to us about some of these things, and you know when he's talking about pressure situations, this is what makes a difference with, with people. When right? you what decisions you make them, right? when you're going through the pressure situations. Right. That's when I had brought up to the staff because it's good. We've been open for ten years, right? Mm -hmm. but I brought up to the staff. I'm like, listen, you know, everybody gets to see all the glitz and glamour and all this cool stuff that we've got now, right? But it wasn't like that 10 years ago. You right. know, 10 years ago, me and John, we went through some really hard times right. together, you right. know? And, you know, we, we've had our fights. Yeah. This is, we've never not fought. You know, do we get past it? Yeah, we get past it. But, you know, we, we were down and out, you know? I mean, I was in a bad car accident. I lost my job because I couldn't work. You know, then we had to go, I had to go on unemployment. You know, it was just, it was not a good situation. And we had just had Peter. Peter was like two years old. Right. And it was like, okay, so what are we going to do? Right? And there was a lot of other moving components components that were bad at the time yeah. that were going against us with the Absolutely. house and this and that so it was all at one time and when you're under that much stress and that much pressure it's it's one of those what do you do when your back's against the wall right right yeah. you do do what are you gonna do are you gonna yeah. are you gonna sit and crumble and cry about it yeah. or are you gonna get up surpass it and go figure out a solution, yeah. right? Because you can complain all day long. Boo hoo. Right. Yeah, everybody has a boo hoo story. Everybody has a boo hoo <laughs> this. I know everybody's got a boo hoo book bag, but I'm telling you, you could boo hoo all day. It doesn't give you the solution that you're looking for. Right. And you don't want to take it on your partner. The whole point is that me and him, we worked as a team to get to where we were trying to go, you know, and figure out, okay, so what are we going to do to pay the bills? Right. What, what, what do you got up your sleeve, John? Because I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> so we went through our hard times, but, you know, it made me think, too, like, you know, wow. I mean, it was pretty stressful in those time frames, you Absolutely. know? I mean, so stressful, you may, like, you might have just wanted to go to bed. Didn't even want to, you know, get down that night because you're so stressed. You're tired. You're exhausted That's mentally, tough. emotionally, physically. You yeah. know, it's in that situation you're gonna have to pick and choose your days on who's gonna pick up who that day because yep. both of you guys can't be down right. because if one both of you guys are down neither one of you guys can pick each other up that's right so one of you guys got to stand up yep. one of you guys yep. and then maybe the next day the person the other person can sit down and then the next person stands up but that's called teamwork right and if, if you're having to pick your partner up that's fine but if it comes to a point where you're picking them up every single day, it's time for them to get that kick in the butt. Yeah, kick. Because they need to get up. Get up. And when you guys are both up and working together, that's when all the success comes. It you know, you can get by, you know, some days here or there, like let's say she's down, I pick her up, or I'm down, she picks me up. That's fine for a day, and you can get past that. Mm -hmm. But ultimately to be successful, you guys both gotta get up and motivate each other to be better in everything you guys are doing out there. Uh, and to get past the situation or scenario. I mean, even for us, right, at that point in time, that's when we started tightening. And that's not when pressure just let off. <laughs> that actually increased more pressure. <laughs> like, hey, listen, this is either do or die. We're either going to do this or we don't really have a game plan of what it's going to be. And it's going to be an ultimate fail. Mm -hmm. and there's going to be some negative consequences that are going to be coming along with this. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure you're giving maximum effort. And you got to make sure that, listen, nothing is guaranteed in life. But you got to make it so it's an educated decision where you've, like, basically 
looked at everything that's around you and like this is the best possible it's a calculated scenario. calculated decision you're making. It is a calculated decision. So at that point, you guys are making you know the best decision you possibly can with the information that you have. Um, but yeah, that's that's really where it's at. I mean, being together as a couple, getting past these pressure situations, and at that point, it will make you guys ultimately better all the way around through and through. One hundred percent. Communicate, communicate, and both of you guys being negative at the same time never works. So y- y- there's got to be a balance somewhere in there. The yin and yang. Me and John have always been, you know, we're the unstoppable. I will say we're the unstoppable yeah. team, you know, because we are the yin and yang of each other. You know, me and him are polar opposites, but we're really actually the same. I know that sounds so weird, right? Yeah, right? But it's really weird. We are. We're totally opposite, but not really. So, you know, we make a good, a good little match, you know. So, you know, with your person out there, whoever you're with, you know, see where you guys fit in together, where it fits like this, you know, and then make it work and move forward. Yeah, and it was a, it was a good example we heard from Tim Grover yesterday. Like you know, diamonds. Everybody likes diamonds, but how yeah, are diamonds created? Through pressure. Right? Yep. Pressure. That's that's how it happens. So, yeah. You know, a lot of magic happens with pressure situations and how you get past those situations together, and that's when true success really comes. Um, don't let it break you guys. That, that's another thing. It's really easy to quit. Mm-hmm. Right? It's really easy to say, oh, I just can't do this no more. You know. I'm gonna I'm go. Done. I'm gonna go find a sugar daddy. I'm bye. done. Right. You know, like, this is just not gonna work for me. <laughs> And it doesn't have to be, just like you said, financial. It could be any high-pressure situation. Right. It's just the most common one is financial for couples out there. Yeah. So get past it. Um, set goals for each other. Make sure you guys are setting yourself accountable for each other, too, as well. And make sure you guys are hitting those goals. So that's the biggest thing I can say to anybody out there. You got to write them down. Write them down. Don't just say them. Write them down. Talk about it. Right? Throw it out there to the universe. And hopefully it'll bring it back to you. What's that but, called again? But don't wait on it. What's it called? I, the I, thing, the magic thing. Yeah, I know. It's like uh, they did a documentary. Come on. I can't remember what manifestation. It yeah, manifesting. Yeah, that's what manifestation. It is. So you're, you're manifesting. I am yeah. manifesting. But you're not waiting on it to come to you, right? A you're million to dollars to be on my front doorstep yeah. tomorrow. Man, that'd be awesome. Boom. There it is. I wish I could hear psych. the One point five psych. billion or something like that. Yeah, manifest means get up and go get it. Yeah, go up <laughs> and get it, right? And uh, set the steps that you guys need to do to get there, too. It's not just setting that goal like, I'm going to get this. Like, what are you going to do to get to it, right? A, B, C, D, and E. All the way up the, the ladder. So you guys are making sure you guys are hitting one step at a time, and you guys are on the way to that goal, right? Progressing. So... I hope this has helped you guys out. I hope you guys get past your high pressure situations. Um, there's a lot of them out there, especially right now in these times we're in. Mm-hmm. So at that point, don't worry and, and don't think that you know people down the street might not have been in the scenario that you're in. Me and Sharice have been in the scenario. A lot of people have been. been so there. at that point, we're talking from experience, guys. We love you guys. Every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC, me and Sharice will be here talking about the, the great things that we can to help you guys out with relationships. And don't worry, guys. <laughs> If you guys didn't get to watch us live, that's our bell because we're past time. Got to go back to work. But <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. And come check us out every Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m., right? And if you guys didn't get to watch it live, DVR it. And if you missed that too, don't worry. Just go over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, and you get to see this show and a lot of other cool content that we have for you guys. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.